guys, JFM here, welcome back to yet another episode of the Survival Multiplayer Series, and today is SMP7, and I am super excited, because today I'm going to be building my first shop on the server. But before we start today, I'm gonna need to get rid of all these mobs, because somebody left the mob farm on, so let me do this real quick. Ah, much better, and I think I actually got some reward for that. I, yeah, I got two carrots, and I think I got a potato and a little bit of iron as well, so you know what, it's all fine. So, like I said, now we can start working on our first shop, but before I do that, I want to do something really quick and show you guys a quick little update on what's happening in the nether. So, I know I showed you guys this last episode, but I wanted to show you once again that this walkway is soon to be completed completed, maybe even in this episode, and eventually I'm gonna have a rail system that connects me to Rage Elixir, so that'll be pretty cool to get done. Other than that, I I'm pretty sure I've shown you everything, so uh, all the delaying is done. Let's go ahead and do one last thing before we actually begin today's episode. So a ton of you guys commented on last video and said that I missed two trapdoors, so I want to show you guys that I've placed them down and I also want to make another imbo. Oh, what is this? Oh! So, okay, Jojo Pet told me he left me a surprise, so this must be it. Heard you lost some diamonds. Hope this helps Jojo Pet. Okay, well, let's see. Whoa! What? Wow! Okay, 51 What is this pickaxe? What? Fortune 3 efficiency- Oh, that's exactly the same one I have! Perfect! Okay, that is a whole lot of diamonds. That's actually crazy. Thank you so much. So guys, uh, 51 diamonds is a lot, and I wanna earn my diamonds, so what I'll be doing is anything I use these for will benefit the community. So I'll, I'll, I won't use these for my own tools uh, or anything like that. What I'll do is I'll use the, I'll keep them in a special chest. Hold on. This special chest right here. So there'll be 51 diamonds in there for later, and if I ever need them for something to help the community, help someone out, give someone else a pickaxe, or, or do something like that, that is what those diamonds will be used for, because I don't want to upset you guys and just start, you know, getting full diamond armor, even though I don't really deserve it quite yet, so we'll work on that, uh, and then maybe once I have enough diamonds to actually sustain myself, maybe I'll start borrowing from that, but I don't want to upset you guys, so let me know if you think that's okay, but as you can tell, I've got these other trap doors, and I saw comments on last episode saying people were screaming at me trying to get me to put those three down, so I apologize. Uh, they're now there. Oh, and before I actually do this, I do need to craft up <laughs> what I'm gonna enchant. All right, so I think it's time. Let's get this. Now, I want infinity or flame. Either one of those enchantments would be great. Uh, you know what? I think I'll take the flame. Yeah, flame one. I'll just go ahead and take it, and now I should be able to combine our two bows in order to get unbreaking three, power four, and flame one, which is gonna be super useful, especially for cooking up food when I shoot animals. So, unfortunately, it's still not going to be as good as my previous bow. Oh, but hey, it's getting there. We can continue working on that. So I think it's time now I'll show you guys where and how and what this shop is going to be uh, Basically everything about this shop and I walked way too slow up to that. There we go. <laughs> okay So believe it or not this shop is not going to be for pumpkins and melons and you may think well That's probably what I should do considering I have so many and you know what? I might end up doing a pumpkin shop, but everyone else has melon farms so that would kind of be pointless, but this shop is hopefully going to be much more useful for everyone else on the server. It's going to be a bookshop. More importantly, an enchanted bookshop. So I've got some supplies in my inventory, some supplies in this chest, and hopefully we can get this shop done in today's episode, starting with a little bit of stained clay, and uh, 32 is enough to get me started. So the shop is going to be made out of spruce wood, dark oak, wood, yellow stained clay, and stone bricks, and hopefully I'll be able to get a good bit of stuff done. Oh, and I probably need some more dye, so let me go ahead and grab these. 
All right, so I've gone ahead and completed the foundation of this build. It's going to be built into this little mountain here, although not too far. It's just going to have enough room. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is the entrance will be right here. You'll walk in. There'll be a selection of items uh, in this area, obviously a mountain right now. <laughs> and uh, over here in this corner, there's going to be a register and an area to deposit the payment, which I'm not too sure what it's going to be yet. Probably some amount of diamonds or maybe iron just depends on how good the books are so uh, Basically here in this store. I'll sell regular books Maybe bookshelves as well for people looking for those for designs or enchantment rooms And also I'll be selling extra enchanted books for people that uh, don't like the enchantments They're getting right now or they just want a specific enchantment and can't seem to get it All right guys I was just coming over here to grab a little bit of wheat and take a break and look at what echo has been up to look at this I have not been over here in a while I'm assuming that's an echo bridge I know he's been live streaming I've watched a few of them I have not seen all of this though so he is really putting in some work what dude <laughs> Echo's got a nice little base going down here and now I really dislike just uh, you know going in other people's base without them knowing but just to show you guys like he is doing some work so if you'd like to see this and how, and how like all he's done definitely check out his series and hopefully I'll be able to get him on a call sooner or later and he can give us a tour and I'd like to do that with just about everyone on the series within the next few episodes so hopefully we can get that done but dang dude good work for now though I'm just gonna continue working on this shop and getting the basic uh, basic outline done so here we go that is just about all you're going to be seeing and I actually don't think I need to go up just that high uh do I I don't think I do okay let me take this part down okay so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of decoration and support to this by no 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 I am going up one more just with the wood though okay hold on there we go now I'll add the support so using that extra bit of clay is not really necessary there so that is the opening and I don't want it to be too wide there we go that is how it's going to look perfect now over here I think I do need to go up a little bit higher with this clay so there we go the start of our lovely little shop so now what I'm gonna do is carve out a little bit of an area back here to get this thing going and I'll meet you guys once I've done just that so there we go I think these are going to be the interior dimensions of my shop now as the looks of uh, like looking at it right now <laughs> I'm going to need to grab a little bit more stained clay but I don't think I'm actually going to need this extra stuff up there so if I can climb up and grab this top row I I should be able to save this however I'm still gonna need more so I'm gonna go die up some more of my hardened clay on second thought now that I'm thinking about it I'm gonna put bookshelves over there so I'm, I'm fine I'm, I'm perfectly fine I've got four to spare which is great now I need to go grab wait do I have them no, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some of my bookshelves and start placing these down to make it look a little bit more Oh, not in there right there. Okay. Yeah, so it's gonna look like I said or like I was going to say a little bit more like an actual bookstore now I, Hopefully people will buy stuff from here I'm not too sure how successful it will be But I believe this is going to be the first store on the server Which is a very good step to a brighter more uh, more more collaborative future I could say and I'm gonna need more bookshelves oh man and there we go now I also need a few bookshelves over here because I want to add some behind the counter so maybe they have some extra books back here or this is where they keep the returned books now obviously no one's gonna return books here but that's perfectly fine <laughs> so uh, next up what I want to do is add a little bit of flooring now I think this diamond pick is gonna go which is a shame but I do have that other one that was just given to me so thank you Jojo it's all Already going to come in handy perfect so the way I want to design this floor is fairly simple I'm going to use diorite but not just diorite two different types it's gonna be a checkerboard pattern with diorite and polished diorite now I've used this before I don't think I've done it in any videos or anything like that or any builds that I've used uh, for YouTube but I really 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 like the way this uh, looks it also looks good if you use diorite 
and andesite, but for one build, it sometimes becomes a little bit too much. So there we go. We've already got one block type. Let's get the other made. Uh, I just need to craft up a little bit and uh, we should be fine. And uh, there we go. So this is what the floor is going to look like. I really, really like it. Uh, next up, we've got to go ahead and run over off to this direction so I can use some of my smooth stone to make some stairs. And I'm going to need a lot, and I mean a lot of stairs. So to start off, I'm actually going to be using stairs on the interior here to add a little bit of depth to these bookcases. And I also probably need to get a few torches to light it up in here, but uh, there we go. So let me go grab some torches and I will be right back. Now this lighting is obviously not permanent, but it should get the job done for now. I also want to add some ladders here because you know in libraries where they have the ladders that go up the bookshelves? Well, that is what I'm trying to do there, so hopefully you guys like the way uh, that looks. Next up, we're going to have to add the roof onto this big old building and uh, I don't know how easy that's going to be to start it off what we're gonna do is grab some of these stone brick stairs and just place them right above I think no 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 they're gonna be right here just like that so I can get rid of a few of these logs and with that placement right there, the first layer of the roof is done. So it's going to be a mix between uh, this stone brick style and, of course, my next favorite roof block, which is dark oak stairs. So I've got to make a few and, well, not really a few. i got to make a lot. I have to make a whole lot. <laughs> okay, so that is the outline of the roof. So I've got that done. Now I need to make a few more stairs out of stone brick, but I'm also going to need to get some out of oak, uh, dark oak as well, and I don't like when endermen go down there. Oh, I might have to kill him. I might have to go fight him. Another different thing I'm going to be doing with this design is I'm going to mix in spruce wood stairs, and that's going to happen above every log. So there's a log right here, and I'll put it right there, and there's also a log right here, and there's also a log right here. So in between uh, each, well, above where every log goes, that is where I'll put uh, one of those blocks. So now, uh, we've got a little bit of ways to go before this thing is done. So I'll just uh, go ahead and do it, and I'll come back to you guys with some minor updates. So guys, a quick little update. I'm obviously still working over here, but it's getting done fairly fast uh, because I've built roofs like this before, so I'm really just kind of just kind of getting used to doing them. So uh, not too bad, not too bad. Just thought I'd give you guys a small update. I should be done with the roof very, very, very soon. All right, guys, so the roof is almost done. Now, I finished up the main section uh, of over basically the majority majority of uh, of the store but I still have to finish up this part this little mini uh, mini roof only got half of it done so let me finish this up and I promise we'll move on back into the interior in just a second and the last piece of the roof is placed now I, this is uh, that kind of looks weird uh, I may have to do some editing to that area but at least we've got the whole top of the roof now uh, completed so that's pretty good now I'm not too sure how I'm gonna make it look nice uh, over there what I think I'll do is just grab some of these spruce wood planks and place them along well you know what I I'm I'm, just, I'm actually not too sure so we'll have to figure out what looks good so for now that ought to do the trick now I'll go ahead and make it look nicer later but at least we've got a closed off building that now only has one entrance that I have yet to actually make so let me go ahead and make myself this spruce door and uh, well you know what I think we are just about done now I'm gonna continue with similar designs on the roof and just use dark oak in here and I think I'll maybe use uh, spruce logs as well so a little bit of a combination of both the two woods all right so this roof is now done now I've got to do a separate I keep saying roof I should say ceiling a separate ceiling in this room it's going to be a similar design as well so nothing too uh, nothing too too crazy but uh, it uh, hopefully it'll add a little bit of uh, 
you know, spice to the ceiling, you could say. So, uh, that can stay the same. And then, maybe I just add slabs up there. I think that, uh, that'll be perfectly fine. So let's add some slabs, just like this, to finish off the roof, ceiling, ceiling, did it again, ceiling, uh, of this awesome little library. And I think... That should just about do it. And I also want to add a nice little top to the, whoops, uh, these bookshelves back here. And, uh, you know what, if I could place things, maybe, <laughs> maybe it would work out better. Okay, there and there. Perfect. I think that is just about it for the basic interior. All right, so I've just made a few more things, including a few chests and signs, and I guess, whoa, what's going on, dude? How's it going? How did you get in there? Okay, that was kind of weird, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, so over here, I'll probably want to add a chest uh, with a sign that says payments. So if I put a chest right there uh, where the register is, I can say uh, maybe like make payments here. Uh, maybe put it right here? Yeah, that should be good. And we're also going to need a sign outside that lets everyone know that it's my bookstore. Now, I do want to add a little bit more decoration out here because the walls, let's face it, look kind of plain. Oh, and this needs to be fixed really badly. <laughs> this side, oh boy, there we go. That's uh, a little bit better, could still use a little work, but hey, the bookstore is just about done. I could use a few windows in here, make it look a little bit nicer, but so far, this is perfectly fine. Now, where am I actually going to store the books I'm selling? Well, probably just right here, right? So maybe have uh, a couple of chests like this, maybe? No, I don't like that. Okay, I think I like this a little bit better. So now what I can do is assign values to each and every one of these chests. So let's say the first one is, let's just say, uh, one iron. So there we go. Now, I'm not sure if these prices are going to stay, but for now I have books that I cost one diamond, three diamonds, uh, 25 iron, 50 iron, one iron, or 10 iron. Now, I'll probably change that, but for now, that is probably where I'll store most of this, uh, the books for sale. So, uh, yeah. Now, do I have any books right now? No. So, what I will I do? What, 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 what shall I do about it? Well, let's go make some books. All right, so I have leveled up a few times. I think it's safe to say we can enchant a few of these books. So let's start off with a Sharpness 3, Efficiency 3 book. Not actually too good, but it's whatever. Uh, and then maybe do a different one, Respiration 2. Oh, that's a good armor book. Uh, and then maybe we can get that book again. Or what's this third book? Yeah, it's gonna stay the same. So let's go ahead and get that other book again. That's a good book to sell. And then, uh, well, I guess we're just gonna have to keep making those books. Yeah, so we'll just get a few of these books, <laughs> as many of those ones as we can, because these ones are actually good ones to sell. And then I think we'll go ahead and grab this one as well. So there we go. We've got a few books now. Let's go put them in our shop. Okay, so I've gone ahead and placed these inside. These cost 25 iron each. And the reason they're expensive is because a respiration enchantment is probably pretty rare. So uh, if you can't get one of those, you may as well uh, grab one of these books and 25 iron is pretty cheap. Now down here, I went ahead and put the sharpness three efficiency three because sharpness three is good on a sword and efficient, th uh, well, I can't speak today. <laughs> Efficiency 3 is good on a tool, but it's not good, like, if you, basically you need, well, you can't have Sharpness 3 on a tool, so that's why you'd basically either use it on a sword or a tool, not both, so it's, uh, in the 10 iron bucket, and then in the 1 iron bucket, we've got Projectile Protection 2 and Knockback 2, because neither of those are crazy enchantments, and you can't even have them all on the same one, so... I thought those are good prices. I'll continue updating the store. Each and every episode, we can add an updated inventory, uh, enchant a few more books, and add a few more to the store. And hopefully, sooner or later, we'll start seeing payments entered into the payment chest. So, I'll decorate a little bit more off camera, add a little bit of design element to this. But for now, I'm very pleased. Sorry. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty pleased. So, our first shop is done. What's next, you may ask? Well, I want to quickly make, and I mean very quickly, make a waterfall. So, over here, we've got a nice blank wall, and I think if I'm right where I'm looking right now, if I make a waterfall over there, I'm pretty sure it'll be awesome looking. 
Hey, I don't even need a water bucket. I thought I was going to need a water bucket. Well, that worked out well. Oh, there's already an ocean there. That's perfect. So, I, I don't know. I, I'll make this look better, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to the idea, and uh, and maybe it'll end up looking cool, but for now, it, it probably doesn't. But hey, I, I think it'll be fun to make. It looks pretty bad right now, but hopefully it'll end up looking kind of cool. So, we've made a shop. We've started with the waterfall. I would... Whoa. Wow, is the server lagging that bad? Oh no, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Like I said, or I was going to say, I've done that a few times today. We have built ourselves our very first shop and should hopefully see customers fairly soon. We've also started the idea of a waterfall and hopefully created a good source of income on the server. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.